What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle where we show off indie games every single day for your perusal. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here. We're checking out Mila Noir today, which is kind of a crime, action, shooty, gory, Italian mobster type game that I think is going to be a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of 70s crime flicks, 80s crime flicks. I love Godfather, I love the Scarface, I love all that stuff, man. Casino is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I love anything that has to do with crime and the mob. I will watch those movies over and over and over again. So we're going to start the game off here, and we're going to see how this goes. But this is a stylized game that I think is going to be a lot of fun. Good Shepherd Entertainment, Livio Crescino present. Oh, we look dope. Oh, we got that jacket on. What's up? So I guess I got to go inside the Osteria bar. Let's dive on it. Oh, she got the long cigarette. That's how you know she fancy. She hella fancy. She got that Cruella DeVille cigarette. Who are we trying to talk to right now? Who are we trying to talk to? This dude got his wife beater on. This lady's looking buxom over here. Ah, we're just going to the bar to get a drink. Do we wear our sunglasses inside? Where is he? In the can. My old man just cleaned up in there, so try not to make a mess. Damn, that dude's on the setup right there. You can't do somebody while they're on the toilet? That ain't right. How are you going to murder a guy while he's on the toilet, man? He's on the john right now. It's like game off right now. You died like you lived, face down in shit. That dude got dropped. How'd he score a headshot through the door? Oh no! Sabotage! Did you kill the wrong guy, dude? You didn't wipe though. Hey, nice glasses. Piero. Like, that's an innocent man just got murdered right there. I guess I'm a mobster. I gotta get into the right mindset. And civilians get whacked sometimes. It is what it is. And the, the civilians get whacked sometimes. It is what it is. Hey, Piero, looks like you. someone was looking for you. Looks like he found you. Yeah, there's a dead guy in your toilet. You might want to clean that up, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to clean it up, but you might want to take care of that business real fast. Hey, Gramps, you better give the toilet another wipe down. There's shit all over the floor in there. We're getting away on a Vespa? I don't feel like that's the best getaway vehicle. Like, I was thinking we hop in the Maserati, or like we jump up in the Porsche. Or like we jump up in the BMW, you know what I mean? But uh, I don't think that sends the proper tone to my enemies. I can't be afraid of a man on a Vespa. Like listen to the sound it makes. That's not the sound of terror. That's not the sound of looming horror. Like you can't get afraid of like we. Chapter 1. Gambolino Neighborhood, 11.51 p.m. Didn't I just... Wasn't I already inside this bar? Ah, Piero, it was you. Shame that guy in the bathroom shut the wrong stall. Torinese. Why don't you try shooting me, Torinese? You got no idea how happy that would make me. As happy as you are licking the boss's boots... Who's a good doggy? Toronazi's a good doggy. Lanzanetta's inside. Or Lanzetta's get it. Lanzetta's inside. Now get the fuck out of my face. Somehow I get the feeling that like manners is not our strong point. Finally, Fiero, my rock in an ocean of chaos. Get your ass over here, you miserable fuck. Alright. Well... I don't think people are good at, like, social graces. Hey, Pierre, how's it hanging? Short shrivel slightly to the left, homie. It is what it is. We just do what we do up in here. I know what happens. Someone tried to take you out in my club. I don't let that kind of thing slide. You're going to take care of this. You know who was behind it? Gianni Beretta and his assholes. Looks like got wind of our recent excursions into his territory. That senile idiot doesn't know who he's fucking with, but he's about to find out. All right, well, ready when you are, boss. You're going to whack one of his top lieutenants tonight. They call her Africana because she loves young black girls. The target's a woman? She's relaxing in a brothel on the other side of town right now. Make sure she doesn't make it home. My pleasure. Like, isn't that, like, off limits, though? Like, isn't that one of the main rules of the mob is no women and no children? Like, I thought they kept, like, women and children. I guess if she's a part of it, she's a part of it. Once you in, you in. See you soon, little doggy. Watch your back, Piero. Watch it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hop up on my vest, but please believe. Do a burnout. Feed that dude a little bit of ash. A skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Viali Monza. I'm probably butchering all these names, man. I don't speak Italian. I'm not good at that stuff. All right. Prettiest girls in Milan. You won't regret it, my friend. Oh, we're in Milan right now? That's pretty cool. So, this is your little pleasure palace, huh? You gotta have a place to kick back when you're not killing and stealing. Too bad it's your last night here. This is a blonde-haired lady. We're gonna go find this girl. She gonna get it. And get this, the guy wants me to quit my job and stay home to take care of the children. We in the 19th century no more, asshole. And then she got mad, all because I asked her to quit her job to take care of the kids. How many times do I gotta tell you, stop going to the gym and do your homework? This is probably the place right here. We're trying to take out. No shooting. If I don't keep quiet, Afrikan or goons are going to hear me. All right, well, let's whack this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give him the choke. Oh, you got to actually, like, spam it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we can do, like, dodge rolls, too, and take cover. All right, that's cool. These people over here right now are working on exercises of some sort. You got to get that abdominal exercise, man. It's important. Let's go ahead and take this dude out. Yeah, cough, cough, sputter, sputter, cough, cough. Welcome to the afterlife. Up to the next floor. Luigi, no, come upstairs. Dinner is getting cold. Oh, we went all the way up. All right. Where am I trying to go right now? Whoa, those two are really getting at it right there. Hey, there's an intruder. Call Africana. Shit. Oh, I was supposed to choke him out? It didn't give me the prompt. All right, well, we'll try again. Controls are a little bit loose when it comes to vaulting and stuff. There we go. Cool. I wasn't sure that I could do it because there was no prompt. Over there, it appears as though somebody's bouncing on a trampoline or something like that. Just making sure they stay nice and fit. It's all about those leg exercises. You gotta make sure you keep the calves strong. Sorry, pal. Girls are all busy. Come back later. Cut the shit. I'm looking for Africana. Tell me where she is and nobody gets hurt. You deaf or something? I said there ain't no girls. I'd like to apologize. It seems like we got off on the wrong foot. Let me see if I can make myself perfectly clear here. Oh, he just rammed some chalk sticks through that guy's hand. He already got one arm off. Ah, what the fuck? This is the last time I'm going to ask, where's Africana? All right, all right, all right. She's in the door. She's in the room with the red door. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, was that so hard? Eat up, chucklehead. I mean, how's he going to get the chopsticks out of his hand, though, if he don't got another hand? You've left that dude in a very precarious situation. He's going to be trapped there forever. Just doomed. Nobody's going to be able to help him. I don't see a place with a red door, so let's go back down. Oh, shit. There's an intruder. Call Africa. I messed up. That was my bad. It's a good thing this game gives you copious chances to not be a screw-up, because from what I'm getting from this, I would be a terrible hitman. This is not my calling. I would be really, really bad at this. She just went inside. So we freeze our balls off here while she gets her rocks off. Chill out. We'll get our turn. Where the fuck is Luca? That asshole's supposed to take over for me. Choke this dude out. Choke this dude out. That's a death. That's a kill. Ooh, that's another one right there. Choking out everybody. Ain't nobody making out of this brothel. All right, let's go inside and see what we got going on here. Hmm, looks like somebody ditched out. I doubt they're in the back. I got my gun, though? Like, I should shoot somebody. Please, don't kill me. Tell me where she is, and I won't lay a hand on you. She's behind the door, over there. All right. Thank God for snitches. Don't move. She was underwater the whole time? Say goodnight, asshole. Oh, shit. Ow, I've been shot. Something tells me I'm not very good at shooting, either. I don't feel like this is working. There we go. I finally filled her with holes. How many bullets does it take to kill a naked woman? Oh, reload, reload, reload. All right, these dudes are going to be coming in. That's what I'm talking about. Get them. Get them. All right, stay behind cover. Stay behind cover. Oh, got that dude too. He's down. All right, let's go find this lady. She's trying to run on us right now. We're whacking everybody up in the neighborhood. Bystanders don't matter. Oh, that dude's down. Okay, now that I got cover, this is a little simpler. That lady got a knife, though. You better take her out quick. I ain't trying to get stabbed. Ow, I've been shot. Okay, I was so worried about getting... I was so worried about getting stabbed that I ended up getting shot. Is that dude up there fair game? Oh, he is? Nice. I didn't know if I could shoot across layers. That lady got a knife, though. Doesn't look like I got the range for that. Let's get down. Let's get down. We're getting down tonight. 
Getting down. Oh, that dude's dead now, too. Hell yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get behind cover. Uh, yeah, that'll put us behind cover. That's cool. And where did this lady go? She run off on us? She went off to the left. Does it reload me when I pass through different areas? That dude's down. I had to get rid of one of them early. Shot him down, too. Gunned him down in the street like a dog. That dude wasn't even paying attention. See, that's why you pay attention to gunshots right there. That's how you get your ass in trouble. You hear gunshots and you don't scatter. That's not a good look. That dude's down, too. I like the pixel animation. I love the way that, like, it feels like there's impact to the bullets when these dudes fall down. I'm going to try and get her, but no guarantee. Oh, caught that one to the side of the cheek right there. Caught a little bit of that chin music and also a hiccup. Do headshots matter? You'll die for this? Eh, not before you, though. Not before you, though. That's the that's the big explainer right there. Not before you, though. That lady somehow knew I was hiding behind a flower pot. We're not going to question it too much. I think the headshots are probably what we want to focus on here. I'm going to go after that dude first since he's got a high position. Got him. That dude's taking the other guy's position. That guy's now down. Keep reloading. Keep moving. Perfect. And it looks like you can actually aim behind people, too. Like, you don't have to be perfectly on top of them in order to get the shot across. It looks like it factors in the positioning. So, oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Why wouldn't they just try to knife me? I'm going to roll past these dudes. God, there's so many knife-wielding assholes over here. But this is they just learned an important lesson why you don't bring a big old knife to a gunfight. Just keep shooting. It's jam fucking piece of shit. Oh, with the backup. Apparently, Lucia is going to help us out. Africana's down in the courtyard, but she's with her men. You'll never take them all out by yourself. Who are you and why are you helping me? I'm, uh, well, I work here. I'll help you kill Africana if you help me escape. All right, just remember, if you fuck with me, I will end you. I got eyes in the back of my head. Go now. I'll watch your back. See you in the courtyard. Well, that works out for me. I'll take that. I'm always down for more allies. I need help in this great crusade against the enemy. Ricochet kills. Shoot street signs to hit hidden enemies and eliminate your targets quickly. Okay. Oh, that was dope. That was the shit right there. I'm okay with that. That was what was cracking. Oh, we got problems, though. All right, let's take them out. Our body count's getting kind of high right. I'm going to roll into cover back here. Get the knife lady first. I don't know if I wanted her that badly. Oh, there was a sign right there. I messed up. So that just gives me, like, a free kill, I guess. I'm going to choke this guy out. I don't know if he's a bad guy or if he's on my team, but he got to go. Perfect. Keep moving. Stay behind cover. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're clear. Oh, no. She got a Uzi. You picked the wrong bitch to fuck with, Piero. How does she light a fire with... Oh, I thought she's going to get hit by the car. I was going to be like, oh! She got hit by a car. Oh, never mind. Apparently, we taking cover. I'm going to go ahead and take out this dude. I can't get to any of the street signs from right there. I assume that after I kill off all the mooks, the fire will go out, maybe? Keep reloading, doing your thing. I don't know how many of her men I need to kill, but I'm going to stay on it. I don't think I can get that angle right there. I wonder if I can dodge through the fire. She's over on the other side of the car now. Oh, she can shoot through the car? That angle shouldn't work. She's firing through the back fender of the car. Alright, well let's pick these dudes off. If she can shoot through the back of the car, I assume that I can? No. Okay, so apparently she's got a little bit of an advantage right there. She can fire through the back of the car and I can't. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Need to catch my breath. One sec. That's true. We did just tap her with a bullet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get her sat down. Oh, okay. I got you. So that's like an infinite use one right there. All right. Well, maybe not infinite use, but it looks like I need to rotate. Oh, the guys are just there to block that shit. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, she got me? No! It's hard to keep track of all the bullets and everything. I actually hit her that time. That's good. Is 
That's what I'm talking about. Put that damage on her. I don't know if she heals. I just don't want to get hit by the SMG. That's what I'm trying not to get hit by. There we go. Oh, it won't let you hit the sign when she's in her animation. Okay. There you go. Keep working on her. Keep working on her. Get that reload. Get her two cronies right there. Get the shot off on that side. Get that crony and got her. Fucking bastard. Fucking bastard. The language on this game, though. These people got potty mouth. Uh-oh. How come the police didn't even stop for me, though? How come they gonna go with the... I feel like I probably should have got caught right there. That dude on the right's hella chill. He's been watching this gunfight take place. He hasn't taken cover or anything. He hasn't ducked or flinched. That's the dude you gotta be afraid of right there. That's that guy that carries weight like a freight train. That dude's gotta be a big worry. Get in. This car, once again, man, we really gotta work on our vehicle situation here. It's the 70s. We got those dope Cadillacs. We got all those vehicles from back in the day. There's all kinds of sick vehicles we could be up inside of right now. Bausch's men are after us. I should have known she wouldn't let me get away that easily. Hold them off and I'll try to get Africana. Oh, we're doing the we're doing the Battletoads thing, huh? Alright. Apparently we got issues. Like, I don't know if they're trying to corner us right now. Oh, she can shoot at him? Alright. Go ahead and, yeah, do some stuff here. Go ahead and kill the cars off. Cause as many problems for the enemy as you possibly can. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we move. That's how we do our thing. Oh, my vehicle looks a little busted up, though. Yeah, put a little bit of put a little bit of hurting on them. Put a, make them wish. Make them dream. Oh, no, I'm hitting too many. Oh, God, we're going through fruit carts. Yeah, that's what you get right there. I got guns, too, son. I got guns, too. Please believe. Reload faster, though. Seriously, throw a magazine in that thing, like, right now. Oh, shit. There are a lot of people over here. Yep, shoot the gas tank. Make them go down. I think the, the death animation right there should be a little bit more clear. Like, it would have been cool if they, like, fell off the motorcycle and rolled out instead of exploding and fading out. Uh, I do feel like that probably would have made it a little bit more clear who you've shot and who you haven't shot. Pull over immediately. Fuck you, pig. I'm not going back to San Vittori. Oh, we doing this thing now. Watch out for the van. Well, that didn't help the situation. I'll take care of her. Keep driving. How many times are you going to shoot the front windshield and not get her? That's like legitimately your only job right now. Like, I get that it's probably hard to shoot at a moving vehicle. I get that, especially while we're moving and trying not to be dead. But I'm just saying... I like the sound it makes when the bullet hits the car, though. It's very satisfying. Yeah, get those dudes right there. If I gotta shoot, if I gotta shoot through some innocent vehicles here, I don't really care. I gotta do what I gotta do. This is your last ride, bitch. Oh god. Yo, how come we don't have better firepower? How's this lady gonna have an Uzi? And we got like garbage guns, dude. How are we gonna have doo-doo guns? I wonder if she just shoots straight from wherever she goes out. I thought she'd gonna be aiming at us. This is becoming a problem. I mean, we are landing those shots, though. Her van don't look good. We're getting, like, explosive rounds right now. We're out here like FPS Russia just blowing everything up. Where my watermelons at? Damn, how bulletproof is one lady? Those must be fake boobies. That's the only way. She had them replaced like cyberware. She got Kevlar boob. Adios, Africana. Well, that was a mission that was louder than hell. Normally, I would assume assassinations, you just walk up on somebody, just catch them with a 22 in the back of the head, like tied up to a like bottle or something like that. That was super loud. We basically raked that entire neighborhood in half with gunfire trying to get that lady. You're running from Bowskia, huh? Good luck with that. She owns every brothel in Milan. If she wants you, she's going to find you. I'm going to make her pay for what she's done. I just need a safe place to hide for a while. It's probably stupid of me, but I'm going to let you stay at my place for now. You owe me for this. You got to keep those gangster tabs of who owes you what. Chapter 1 went pretty poorly. I died like three times in that process. Giambolino neighborhood. Africana was pretty tough, huh? Not as tough as me.
What's with that girl you brought home from the brothel? She's one tough cookie. I actually have some work in mind for her. Give me another Amaro, huh? Hey, Piero, let me talk to you for a second. Tonight we settle the Beretta business once and for all. Now that Africana's dead, getting to Beretta won't be too tough. Where can I find him? She's hiding out in an old streetcar depot. He's hiding out. Careful, though. His bodyguard, Ciro, is with him, and that guy's no joke. Neither am I. I sent Tony on ahead to meet you. He's a good man in a tight spot. You better get over there. Is Tony the guy that's mean to me whenever I come home? Is he the one that's like a dick all the time? What's that thing next to the bathroom door? I couldn't tell what that was. Is that like you gotta pay money to use the bathroom? That's kind of vicious, man. That's a little bit upsetting. If somebody wants me to pay to use the toilet, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, look. A little rat. It looks like he goes from skinny to fat over and over and over again. Unless he's got like a white tummy and he's just blending him with the concrete right there. He might actually be fatter than he appears. Streetcar Depot, 1057. Looks like we have an eye patch on when we have like that side angle. Like I'm okay with it. Don't register that as a complaint. I'm always all right with having an eye patch. Every character gets better with an eye patch. Mm, this looks suspect. I don't like this. Something bad's definitely gonna happen here. It's way too quiet. And there's signs right there, which means there's gonna be shooting in just a minute. Loads of shooting. We're gonna have to fight our way out of here, aren't we? Oh, man. I'm just gonna keep going to the right and hoping that this is where I'm supposed to be. Hey, stop right there. Nice work. Come with me. Beretta wants to have a little chat. Oh, Tony with the choke out. Come on, let's find Beretta. Everybody got them skinny jeans, man. We're all looking fancy as hell right now. I can't shoot my gun, though. I kind of feel better if I could have my gun out right now. Oh, no. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. That was more than likely probably a little louder than I probably should have been. But, like, eh, you know, we got gunplay. Like, what do I need to choke people out for? I got a bottle? What does that do? Ooh, a Molotov cocktail with Q? Okay. I will consider this decision wisely. I think you gotta shoot it from a certain angle in order to get the benefit. Or there has to be a bad guy around, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to set a flame on your face. So it appears as though I don't suffer from the spontaneous combustion that everyone else suffers from. You better knock that shit off. I thought that was going to be like a one-time deal. I ain't trying to play around with long-term engagements with Molotov cocktails. I am getting a little bit better at this, though. All right, where are we trying to go right now? What are we trying to do? What are we trying to... Qu oh, we got to jump over the boxes, maybe? There we go. We got to vault over them. Gotcha. Oh, that's going to hurt. Hopefully nobody else rushes us right there because there ain't no cover left. He effectively used a grenade for what a grenade is used for. Get down behind these streetcars. Let me get a kill right there. Wow, there's a lot of you dudes. This is kind of a problematic situation. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, murderous is the first thing that comes to mind. But aside from that, I'd be, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a little bit of trepidation mixed in there. Alright, we moved the car forward. We should be able to... Oh, we got another one over here? Bro, you better sit down. I'm not just going to let you take cover. Like, that's not just going to, like, happen right here. If you're going to try and run up on me, we're going to square this away. I'm going to suppress. I'm going to wait till you peek your little head up. And then it's going to be straight ugly for you. Oh. Uh, get rid of the knife lady since she's rushing. I don't have a signpost around here, and I don't really have an angle. Perfect. Yo, these bodies are lining up in the streets. I gotta get the cover. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's gonna try and do the same thing, but... Oof. 
Almost ate that one, but that's okay. It feels weird reloading with the right click. I keep wanting to hit R instinctually. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, that dude got a shotgun, huh? When do I get a shotgun? When am I going to get this arms race upgrade? I need to get myself a better weapon. Oh, shit, son. I don't know what that plan was, but it did not go according to plan. Like, I have honestly no idea what he was thinking right there. Like, he had to know that was a one-way trip, but this is Mila Noir. If you guys like the game so far, you can get it at the link down below. I'm sure they would love to have your business. Kind of an action shooter crime drama set in Italy in the 70s. Pretty cool stuff if I do say so myself. This is a topic of interest for me. He's not going to kill steal me. He thought he was going to kill steal me. Oh, I got a revolver? Uh, I like how the reticle... I like how the reticle turns into the actual revolver. That's dope. We got ourselves like a big old python right now. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go get... Oh, I got squished. If you want to get the game, you can get it down below. And if you like this gameplay, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps out more than you know. Alright, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I'm a guy who shows off indie games on the internet every single day for your entertainment. Hopefully I can help you find something new over the course of the next week. If you don't like what you saw today, chances are you like what you see tomorrow. So anyways, how you doing? I'll see you next time.